Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie. And today we're looking at an old favorite, at least of mine. I remember I used to have pics of this stuff back in the day, of Bernheim. But this is their latest and newest expression of, well, where else can you go with it except barrel proof? So this is the first national barrel proof expression of Bernheim's original Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey. Mm. Wheat. Know, wheat. All the wheat. I guess you could go to 100 proof first. And then barrel proof. And then, I mean, yeah, you could have a stepping stone. You but need bald and bond. I think we were asking this about rye, if you can have bald and bond. And you probably can't for a wheat whiskey either. I think it just is a bourbon designation. Okay. See, what, clearly we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're, we're just faking it. Yeah, we're just faking it. I think we're figuring it out, though. Yeah. So, but like the original, the barrel proof is produced at the Bernheim Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky, in Asian Heaven Hills Rick Houses. This will be a nationally allocated product, which will be released in batches twice a year. And each proof will also vary by addition to addition. And this is, of course, their flagship mash bill of 51% wheat, 37% corn, 12% malted barley. This is the A223 release and is bottled at 118.8 proof and has an SRP of $65. All right. Yeah. Bernheim, that's a hell of a facility. They don't show it to the public, but... We've gotten to see it. it We've gotten to see it. Quite, quite a few times. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a production machine. Yeah, and there's a reason why you can't see it as a normal consumer. Like you got put, I wouldn't say to wear a hard hat, but you definitely can't go in there with sandals on. No, yeah, it's OSHA would flip their shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, onto the nose here. Ooh, that's pleasant. Brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar. A little bit of fruitiness though. Slight, like kind of hint of some nice fruit. Flavors, I'm, I'm like blackberry or raspberry or something. I don't know. There's some kind of fruit note I'm getting in there. I'll wait and see if this translates to the taste, but I'm a big fan of Long John's with custard cream filling. Oh. And I kind of kind of get a little bit of that in the nose. Yeah. I like the cream filling versus custard. Custard. Custard feels like, a, like pudding <laughs> just oozing like, out of it. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I can just feel it seeping into yeah, my veins. All right. On to the taste. Some nice, like, that brown sugar's there, but... Kind of get some cinnamon, some honey, but then that fruity, there's that fruitiness in there too. For me, at least, I'm getting. I, I do like too. Kind of like a blackberry cobbler kind of ish flavor. It's really good. I mean, it's a little hot on the finish, but uh, overall, pretty good. I would say the only thing that translates with the donut analogy might be like the chocolate icing on top. Yeah. I kind of definitely get some of those chocolate notes coming off of it. Yeah. Well, that's or good. Or frosting, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Just sugar. It's good. Yeah. All right, on the rating here, what are you going to do for the nose? Thumbs up. I enjoyed it. I agree. And the taste? Thumbs up. I really liked it. And the finish? Uh, it's sideways, it's, it's just a, a little hot. The alcohol kind of is like the star at the finish. It's not like a nice spice. It's more just like burn. But uh, I can still feel it right about here. Yeah, the first two were, the nose and palate are fantastic. I just wish the, the, the finish was a little bit more... Uh, flavorful maybe you should have had your 100 proof weeder then at that point 110 probably be perfect for this or 108 <laughs> 108 there we go all right well that is our review of bernheim's official launch of their barrel proof expression a223 with that cheers everybody and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.